What's up everybody? Sebastian is back for a brand new YouTube video. Firstly, before I start this podcast, I would like to thank all of you for all of these likes, for all of these comments, for all of the support on this channel. It's doing amazing and I really love making videos for you guys and bringing value to the world, alright? Now, uh, before I talk about the five life tips, that I give you right now. What I want you to do right now is like this video and you know when you like the video it really shows me that you care about my content and that motivates me to like bring more value to the world and doing an awesome job. Alright? I love it. I love it. Uh so yeah in this video we're gonna be doing five life tips. Alright? Um and these are basically, uh, you know, marked on my Instagram, okay, so like if you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure you check my link out in the description and follow me the fuck there, alright? So yeah, let's get started. Um, life tip number one. If you lost someone, let them know directly. <laughs> as easy as that, you know. So for all you guys out there, if you love a guy, you let him know. If you love a girl, you let her know. Also, for girl, girls, if you like a guy, let him know. And vice versa, etc. Okay? Basically, if you love someone, let them the fuck know. Alright? Um... So, um, here's the thing, alright, so I remember, um, I went to ask this one girl out, alright, and she rejected me. That's the worst case what can happen, the worst case scenario is they reject you, and they say, I'm not interested in a relationship now. That's the worst case scenario. Think about it, it's not that big of a deal. Okay? And when someone says, I don't want a relationship now, it doesn't mean that they hate you. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It's just, they're not ready, you know? And another thing is, in your mind it might be, you know what Sebastian, if I say nothing to that one person, even though I love them, you know, I just want to keep my feelings safe and I don't want to share my feelings with them. The reality is, do you think they will really know? In your mind, you might be, you know what? They know already. Bullshit. They don't at all know that you love them, okay? Unless you let them know, alright? This is life here. We're dealing here in life, not in a fantasy world, okay? Uh, so that's that. Really important. And don't be ashamed of it, you know? You don't have to be ashamed of it. Don't be ashamed of loving someone. It's completely natural, alright? So, tip number two. If people don't like you for who you are, they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> it's like so easy, you know? If people don't like you for who you are, they can go fuck themselves, okay? No matter what, you can't get 7 billion people to love you. No matter what. Alright, we live in a society where What's okay for one person is not okay for the other person. What you say to that person might be okay. If you, what you say if you say to that person, it won't be okay. Basically, we live in a society where everyone finds something else you do offensive. Okay, no matter what, right? No matter what, just know there are gonna be people out there that hate you. They are gonna, they are people that hate you, okay? And there are people that love you. Now, why would you spend your valuable time with someone you don't like? Why? It's a complete waste of time. If people don't like you, fuck them and go and find the people that you love, okay? You've been fed a lie that you're meant to get along with everyone, it's bullshit, okay? 
and drop that fake front and go and find the people that you connect with, alright? And, 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 and the thing here thing is like when you really like hang out with the people that love you for who you are, okay? They don't shame you, they love you and they support you just the way you are, you know? Versus people that hate you, they, they, they like mock you and shame you and criticize you and talk really mean behind your back, okay? Um, which I know so much people, back when in school there were so much people that were so mean to me. They're talking about me behind their back. And then when they're with me they're all nice, you know? Screw those people, alright? Find the people you love. Oh yeah! And if you don't know, if, if you've, you're saying that in your mind, you know what Sebastian? Um, I have tons of people, you know, but it's like, mm, I don't really connect with them, you know. That means you don't know enough people. You understand? If you don't have a lot of friends, that means you haven't met the right people. So go out and meet the right people, alright? So, tip, life tip number three. Don't waste your valuable time in a place you don't care about. This is so, so important. Alright. Your time is valuable. So, whether you're in school, whether you're at a job, whether you're at home doing something you don't like, ask yourself, am I really happy? Am I existing or living right now? Do I wake up every single morning all excited to go to this place? Or am I like, hmm, I just go, you know, and wait until the magical hour to go back home. I'm like, you know, and if it is, um, the answer is like, you know what, I'm at this place, you know, I don't really like it, you know. Then, I'm telling you right now, you have the right to change, okay? You have the right to be happy and go into a place that you love, alright? Don't, you don't want to waste too much time in a place that you don't like. Um, now, in some occasions in life, it's alright, okay? For example, you know, getting in a degree, you know? But, you really want to, like, be careful, like how you spend your time, okay? Because if you years down the line, okay, you're gonna be looking at it and you'll be like, fuck. I should have listened. I should have not done that and quit that a long time ago, you know? Right now is the time to quit. Right now, this moment, you'll be happy, okay? If you don't like a place, make your best effort to do something that you love, okay? Follow your passions, instead of a place that you don't like, alright? You know, that's a really, really something really important to do. Uh, next, number four. Please yourself before anyone else, alright? And I know society, you know, society conditions us already fit in. If you don't fit in, you suck. Fit in, where everyone will hate you, you know? That's basically what society is and teaches us. So, what we do is, we fit in, even though we don't want to fit in. Listen, how many times have you gone with a group of people just to fit in, even though deep down you knew you didn't want to do it? Just think about it. Right. 
And here's the thing, okay? And you did that because, you know, you wanted to please others first, you know? You wanted to, you know, you wanted to be agreeable and fit in, you know? Even though deep down you weren't pleasing yourself, you know? Just ask yourself. On a daily basis, just ask yourself right now. Am I pleasing myself first? Or am I pleasing other people? Like, are you pleasing your partner first? Are you pleasing your parents before you? Your teachers before you? Just really think about it, man. I'm telling right here that no matter what, you should please yourself first. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna make yourself happy. Your happiness is up here, worth this much. At the end of the day, you need to make yourself happy. Because as I told you, time is really valuable. And if you continue living your life pleasing just others and not pleasing yourself, you're gonna have a lot of regrets. And even if, you know what, you think you're pleasing people, you know, oh, you know, oh, I'm doing this, you know, to be nice and stuff, you know, you think you're pleasing those people, in reality, nope, you aren't pleasing them. The weird truth is that they, they don't care. They don't care. In fact, they, people actually prefer to see you happy, do something that you really love, which is what they really want. Because when someone says, okay, you should do that, instead of what you really want, they're just giving their opinion, okay? It doesn't mean that you need to follow their opinion. You can do what you want, all right? Follow your heart. Really, really important, man, because, um, yeah, words, you're gonna be with full of regrets, man. I promise. If you don't find it, it's Number five! Own your individuality. 150% and love yourself for it. Don't be ashamed for who you are. So many people out there, they're so ashamed for who they are. Alright. They're afraid to embarrass themselves. They're afraid to show that and that part of themselves. They're afraid to express themselves they are afraid of talking to other people they're afraid of showing the, the true self to the world which is so sad don't be ashamed for who you are earn yourself 150 percent and love yourself for it love yourself how you got born into this world all right um yeah, just go in, go step in, in front of the mirror and tell to yourself, I love you. I love you. You can say, I love my eyes, I love my nose, I love my teeth, I love my mouth, I love my five fingers, I love my body just the way it is. You know, start. Accepting yourself for who you are. No matter what, like, you are who you are, just own it. Instead of hating it and, uh, and just abandoning it. Alright? So, like, this is really some stuff that I recommend you do, alright? So, um, I hope you enjoyed my video on the five life tips. Um... As you know, thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you in the next podcast. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out.